I'm following the instructions of the mayor here. January 18th, please. This was your new mayor's idea, which is to have a paddle on the Withacoochee River after the Whit River test clean, which we hope will be true by January 18th. January 18th. <coughs> and the idea is to go from Troopville boat ramp down to Scoop Bridge, which is just below US 84, which goes through some of the affected area we've just been talking about. It also includes the outfall from the Withacoochee Wastewater Treatment Plant. And the compliment about Austin, so far as I know, that wastewater treatment plant has not failed in a year. So congratulations on that part. Two. What about mm -hmm. December? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 <laughs> You're not going to have this failure because it ran over what was going on. a discharge. Absolutely. All righty then. All right, gentlemen, the green vest. Okay, I have a quick question. This takes us all the way back to the beginning. Uh, we heard that the, uh, the spill was directly linked to what appears to be a contractor oversight or it may be an error. Uh, what I'm wondering is, is there a process going forward whereby someone, uh, and that could be include the city, determines who is legally liable for this, this, this discharge. Obviously, there's a potential for financial damages. I, I expect that that's probably the next step for some folks. And so I'd like to hear from you, uh, just if there's a process, what is it going forward on this matter in terms of who is directly responsible for this massive sewage release? Uh, as I said at the beginning, we take full responsibility. It is our plant, our pipes in the ground, regardless of why it was caused. A mechanical breakdown, one of our employees, or a third party contractor. So that obviously takes full responsibility for that. Now, that doesn't mean that we're going to take full financial responsibility because the contractor <laughs> still has some liability and responsibilities with us. Uh, <coughs> so we have been in talks with the EMC to see what we can come up with, with them, to handle some of these questions that you guys are talking about. Uh, we, we, we had a, the last meeting was as a matter of fact, Monday afternoon with the president of the EMC. He's willing to do a lot of things, uh, and I would imagine they would be willing to put some of these bills and board Well, he, he may be, but it depends on his insurance company. Well, they've already been notified, their, their insurance is notified. They've already taken care of all that, so, they, so we're not excited how we want to approach this.